Hello everyone and welcome to our yet another discussion on the accounts of a manufacturing entity or a manufacturing concern for that matter. And of course in this lecture we are going to look at the trading account for the manufacturing concern. You should be having the trading account uh, lecture number two on your screens right now. We have already had our discussion in lecture number one where we have looked at the manufacturing account and the elements of the manufacturing account. So in this lecture, we are of course going to uh, first of all look at uh, the general introduction to manufacturing accounts, and then we shall move into a discussion on the elements of the trading account. Then we shall look at the format of the trading account. And then of course, we are going to review with an exam type question. So moving into the lecture, we are asking ourselves what is the trading account and how does uh, this connect with the manufacturing account. So of course in the slide here we begin by introducing the fact that uh, the trading account is part of the income statement of a manufacturing concern. And the previous lecture we've mentioned that um, the income statement or the statement of profit or loss of a manufacturing concern is made up of three major parts. And of course, we have the manufacturing part, then we have the trading part, and the profit or loss part. So these are the three major, major uh, parts that make up the income statement of the manufacturing entity or the manufacturing concern for that matter. Of course, in this discussion, we are going to look at the elements and the format of the trading part, okay? The elements and the format of the trading part right here okay so we want to know what are the elements of the trading part how is the format uh, structured for the trading uh, part so in the next uh, slide we look at the elements of the trading account okay and of course here now we are saying that uh, the trading account of the manufacturing concern consists of three major elements the trading account of the manufacturing concern consists of three major elements and of course we have the first element production cost of goods brought down from what we have just discussed the manufacturing account the production cost brought down from the manufacturing account so the trading account will capture the production cost of the goods that have been completed in the financial period okay it is brought in here as of course part of the uh, cost of sales and then next it captures the opening okay and closing stocks of finished goods and then finally it captures the sales of the manufacturing entity so these are the major elements of the trading account for the manufacturing entity okay uh, it consists of the production cost brought down from the manufacturing account then we have the closing and opening stocks of finished goods and then we have the sales uh, of the entity for the year ended so these are the three major elements that make up the trading account of our manufacturing entity so we proceed in our next discussion the slide by saying how is the format of the trading account structured how is the format of the trading account structured Okay, and of course, as you may have appreciated in our previous discussions, all accounts will have a title. So similarly, our trading account will have an appropriate title. This is what I've chosen for our account, ABC Manufacturers Limited. We have the trading account for the year ended 31st of December 2019. So of course, you will make use of some rows and columns, okay? And then again, you need to indicate uh, the currency. Okay, if it's a dollar, you indicate the dollars. If they are pounds, indicate the pounds. If they are shillings, indicate the shillings there. So you proceed to recognize the sales. Okay, you proceed to recognize the sales in the trading account. So these are going to be recognized here. Okay. Then after recognizing the sales, you deduct the production cost of goods sold. Uh, unlike in the case of the trading entity, okay, the trading enterprise or the trading concern, here, as we mentioned in our very, very first lecture, we mentioned that 
uh, the manufacturing concern will go into the actual production of its completed goods. In this case, the uh, goods that are sold by the manufacturing concern have actually been manufactured in-house. So we shall have a component of the production cost of goods sold, which, which you will not find in a typical trading entity. So the production cost of goods sold is reconciled again as we have done for the other accounts. Uh, it is reconciled. So you bring in, as part of the reconciliation, you bring in the opening stock of finished goods. Okay, you bring in the opening stock of finished goods. And of course, that one you include there. And then you add the production cost of the goods completed. This is the figure that is coming from our manufacturing account. Okay, the production cost of goods completed, you bring it here. So that is going to be included as YY. If you look at our manufacturing account, the one we have just discussed in lecture number one, you will find that I indicated uh, that figure with the YY. So that YY is the one that you bring right here in our trading account. And of course, the figure that you get, you need to get the total. Okay, you need to get the total there. The figure that you get, which is ideally the sum of the opening stock of finished goods and the production cost of goods completed, you're going to less it or deduct the closing stock of your finished goods. So I'm indicating it here. I'm deducting the closing stock of finished goods so that I can be able to derive what we are calling here our gross profit. Okay. We are going to derive our gross profit, which is our very nice figure here. So as you may all be aware from your previous discussions, the trading account aims at presenting the gross profit that the entity has derived in the financial year or in the year ended. Okay. So when we arrive at the gross profit, we know definitely we have reached the end of our trading account. So, um, of course, I want you to go to the next lecture, which is our lecture number three, where we are going to look at the profit or loss account for our manufacturing concern. And after that, we shall straight away go into uh, an exam type question where we are going to discuss in detail how the manufacturing account is drafted and finally presented to uh, the management members. So just go to our website again, www.havistringan.com or you can WhatsApp us if you want immediate uh, response, then just simply send us a WhatsApp and then we can be able to link you to our fully, fully detailed uh, discussions on financial accounting.